So I'm going to show you what you can do in Milan for a day where you can keep your bag so you don't have to carry it around all day so if you've got a layover in Milan this is for you so hello from Milan Malpensa airport this morning I flew in from Tirana where I had a few days in Albania Wizz air flight took around two hours to get into Milan so if you have got a full day in Milan I'm gonna try and show you what you can do if you've got a layover or whatever um, so I have got my bag on me at the moment, so we're going to book it into a luggage storage place in central Milan so that you can explore Milan without having the stress of your luggage or backpack or rucksack. So we now need to get a bus from Milan Malpensa to central. There is a shuttle bus every 20 minutes from exit 4. We're in here exit 5 at the moment. So we're going to walk down to exit 4 and see what the situation is for a shuttle bus. So this is exit five. Next stop, exit four. So we are on the shuttle bus now, so it's gonna take an hour maybe. We leave in 10 minutes, it's 9.32 at the moment. They try and get on the bus in front. Just about to pay, and the guy goes, nope, pull. So I have to wait for the next one, which is this one. They're all lined up, to be fair, but uh, just have to wait 10 minutes. This one's empty, so I don't know whether it goes at this capacity or whether it waits till it's full. But surely if it goes in 10 minutes, it won't be waiting. So it's 10 euros per person for a trip down to Centrale. They do accept card, which is a good thing. Uh, the bus in front and this bus both accepted card, so I'm assuming all of them do. So don't worry about getting money out of an ATM. Next up, Milan Centrale. And there we have it, the bus took 53 minutes from when we left to get into Central Station. 10 euros and it did stop at the other terminal on the way through so up ahead is central milano so i have booked my luggage into a place just around the corner from central station the website is called the radical support so you type in the location and the date and it'll bring you locations where you can store luggage uh, mine's actually a phone shop um don't know how secure it is but it's got a lot of reviews saying that it was safe so I'm gonna head there now, drop the bag off. But this is Central Milan. Sun's shining here. So this, the white stone building there is Central, and here is SNZ Mobiles who have just taken in my luggage. It's just literally a phone shop, and they scan your QR code that you get from your confirmation email take a photo of your luggage and then take it to the back and then you hopefully when you come back in a few hours it'll still be there apparently the the, the website guarantees you like a six thousand euro um insurance or something similar like that so hopefully nothing goes wrong but there's the beautiful central milano railway building So this is what is known as the Gucci wall. This is an advertisement space here in Milan Central that changes every so often with different styles. An update for you, the Gucci wall is painted on. It's not vinyl, it's not plastic, painted on. Wow. Anyway, onwards, down to Plaza del Diomo, the cathedral area. So this is the damage, 20 euro 50. So just having come from Albania, this is almost triple the price. But what do you expect in the center of Milan? Anyway, let's go to the cathedral. So 
So in front of us is one of the famous shopping centres here in Milan with the Art Deco architecture and all the famous and expensive shops. First up on the right is Montclair. So we'll have a walk in and then I think from what I recall you walk through the shopping centre and then you come out to the Duomo, the cathedral. So let's see if I'm right. So there you are, look, your Pradas, your Dior's, your Louis Vuitton, your Fendi, all your expensive brands that I cannot afford that here. So as you can see, it's very busy and everyone's taking photographs of the shops. There's more tourists than shoppers, I think. Well, that's Amarino and there's a big queue for what looks to be ice cream, so I imagine that is good ice cream parlor. Here is the star, show, star of the show, the Milan Cathedral, Piazza del Diomo. <laughs> the public gardens here in Milan. It's a very large park with a big lake, as you can see on the map here you now. So we didn't come across any gelato places, any traditional ice cream, so we've had to settle for a Solero in the park or the gardens. Solero, two Soleros, an Aperol Spritz and a beer was €18.16. Slanchy. That's good. Hard work this walking around in a hot city. Great time to enjoy the traditional Solero. It is five hours later, we got to explore Milan, the cathedral, had some pizza and now we're picking up the bag from the phone shop S&Z Mobiles. Let's hopefully, let's see if the bag is still intact, S&Z Mobiles. So I'm going to go in, show them the QR code, they'll scan it and hopefully give my bag back. Let's go. And there we go, the bag is nice and safe. Now we need to go back to Central. So picked up the luggage, now back to Milano Central. The bus back to the airport was where we got dropped off this morning, so if you do need to go ahead back to the airport, that is the location. I am now going down to Genoa by train, so thanks for watching. Hopefully you got to see an insight of Milan for a few hours. If you've got a layover or whatever, Milan for one day, you get to see what you can see. Anyway, thanks for watching. And as always, see you on the next one and hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.